I don't know, I just think the mass relays have a, a huge part in bringing down the Reapers. Maybe the mass relays could actually be used as weapons uh, towards the Reapers. It seems like the mass relays have always been used as as a weapon by the Reapers, or at least a means of getting to what they were, a, a means to destruction, because the Reapers had control of the mass relays and they would just shut them all down. And it would prevent species from fleeing their galaxy and going to safety and the Reapers would know exactly where everybody was because everybody was in, like, say, lockdown. Um, so it made it easier for them to destroy each place or, you know, to, to get a hold of all of the race together like in little spurts like say okay there's this is there's a, there's a bunch of them here there's a bunch of them here and they didn't go anywhere because we pretty much locked them down and then the citadel being a relay itself that's always fascinated me the citadel was like the hub the master relay the one that would that would control all the relays um and the ones in charge of that are the keepers the keepers are the ones that maintain the citadel and they used to be the ones that would open up the citadel relay uh for to allow the reapers to come in from dark space because the where where the citadel relay leads to is dark space but after the protheans um after the protheans were destroyed by the reapers these scientists that went to the citadel that sneaked into the citadel that just slipped out of the radar of the of the reapers the the scientists um changed like the programming of the keepers so that uh you know so that the keepers didn't listen to the orders of the reapers so now they were more of a um the keepers just didn't listen to them. So now the citadel functions on its own, and the keepers are just there to to maintain it. If this is gonna change in Mass Effect Three, I don't know. Uh, it would be interesting. It, it's all going to be very interesting. Um, but it just the more you read about mass relays and all that, you, you just know that something that that that's the key. Like that's where that's where it's all gonna go down. Like with the relays. It's just there's so much mystery to them. I mean, if you look at the Omega-4 relay, the Omega-4 relay leads to the center of the galaxy, right? Um, and there's a massive black hole there and everything, and you need the, the, the IFF in order to even survive going through, because uh, a lot of ships, or n no ships, uh, besides the collectors, have been able to go through and survive. Um, I mean, remember Mass Effect 2, you go through the mass, the, the Omega-4 relay, and there's just debris everywhere. Uh, it's, like, gonna destroy you, and it's it's debris from, from, from ships that have been destroyed. But, I mean, look at the Omega-4 relay. It looks so different. If the encasing is brown, it's not silver, and the middle glows, like, red, or, like, an orange, and not blue. So what... Why is that one different? Omega is the final letter in the Greek alphabet, and it's often associated with uh, ending or death. And then the number four is associated in many cultures for being also representative de of death. So they named it the Omega Four Relay just because it pretty much leads you to your death if you don't, if you're not, if you don't have that IFF, that Reaper IFF. Kind of, I kind of got myself sidetracked, but. Um, it just brings up so many thoughts in my mind, so many, so many questions, um, and I'm sure it does for you guys as well, but, um, let me just continue with the mass relays. The only time that a mass relay has been destroyed has been on the, in the downloadable content for Mass Effect 2, Arrival. Uh, Amanda Kenson, Dr. Amanda Kenson, she pretty much told Shepard how to bring it down and that she, they needed to bring it down because the Alpha Relay, which is the relay that they destroyed in the Bahak system, where the there's um, there were uh, pr it was pretty much inhabited by Batarians. There was three hundred thousand inhabitants. Now, if you haven't played Arrival, this could be a spoiler, or this is a spoiler. So, if you haven't played Arrival, go play it because you will need to know about what happens in Arrival for Mass Effect Three. But right now, I'm just going to talk about the Alpha Relay. The Alpha Relay 
is is uh, one of the the oldest relays in the galaxy or in the universe, I should say. So that's why they called it the Alpha Relay because Alpha is the first uh, letter in the Greek alphabet. And the special thing about the Alpha Relay that no other relay has, and the reason why the Reapers were going to use this relay, just by looking at it or by activating it, by using it, it's a secondary relay. It's just a relay like any other relay or any other secondary relay that it, you know, connects to a, a nearby relay. If you change some coordinates in it, it becomes a primary relay. It's the only relay in the universe that can change from prim from secondary to primary. So it could not only, if you, if you know how to change stuff on in, in it, and not, and not just hacking, it's not like hacking it, it's just changing the information. Um, it will send you light years away, like a primary relay would. And the re the the way that this happens is by by adjusting the um, the the controls, the amount of dark energy that this relay has is increased tremendously for it to all of a sudden become a primary relay to propel you further into space. It has the power to even send you across pretty much the whole freaking. Well, I mean. Batarians are out in 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 in, in the space, uh, like not in Citadel space. But this mass relay can shoot you all the way the, near the all the way to the Citadel. I mean, not connecting to the Citadel, but near the Citadel, which is a long distance. So the Alpha relay was going to be used by the Reapers as a uh, means of destruction, like almost as a weapon to make things easier for them to destroy uh, most of the galaxy because they had the Alpha Relay and they were they, it would make things a lot quicker for them to arrive uh, to the galaxy um, and start harvesting or start destroying and they didn't have to go through a relay that would just you know a secondary relay that would just take them little by little they could use the Alpha Relay just to be shot all directly to the Citadel if they wanted to. So that's pretty much why Shepard needed to destroy that Alpha Relay because it could be a huge threat, or it was a huge threat. It would allow the, the, the Reapers to have arrived much, much sooner than they did. They arrived months after that instead of just two days uh, after or during arrival. They arrived months after that. I believe it's six months after arrival. It's like six months to a year that they keep saying that uh, the Reapers arrived after arrival in Mass Effect 3. So it took them a while. It bought them some time. I don't know how much that was productive time because not a lot of people believed it anyways. A lot of people b b thought that Shepard just destroyed the Mass Relay or the Alpha Relay just because just because he didn't like Batarians. It was a terrorist threat from Cerberus. So nobody really believed about the Reapers anyway, so it didn't really make that much of a difference, I think. I mean, it's not like they were they were preparing themselves. None of, hardly anybody believed him anyways. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the mass relays. There's so much mystery to them that are is going to, that I'm pretty sure is going to be resolved or answered in Mass Effect 3. Uh, and it's just too much coincidence when you, uh, too much coincidence coming from so many sides, uh, especially when you think of the re the, the Reapers, you, you, it just makes you question their motives and m maybe kind of think of what they might be using something for. When you think of all this stuff that I just discussed, when you hear dark energy, when you hear, uh, when you hear mass effect fields, and when you hear biotics, all of that stuff that's related to each other, it all ties to the Reapers. Is it a coincidence that all Reaper technology caused biotics? Is it a coincidence that all Reapers are interested in biotics? Is it a coincidence that Hastern's son is all of a sudden um, turning into a premature white uh, red dwarf caused by dark energy? I mean, out of nowhere, just the phenomenon, the Reapers are causing it somehow because they can. They have that that potential to 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 manipulate dark energy. 
Um, I mean, they created the mass relays. That's exactly what the mass relays are. They're, they're dark energy emitted from element zero and mass effect fields. So they could easily make a sun, I don't know, turn into some kind of mass relay of its own or some kind of weapon somehow. I, I really, I, it's just, it's all in my head, but it's hard to, like, actually come up with something just because I'm pretty sure, uh, Bioware is just gonna pull something out of ev all these little, inf this little, this information that we have regarding this stuff, and they're just gonna come up with something new and just say, this is, this is exactly what we were doing with all of this. I'm almost sure it's it's related with the Reapers. But I mean, who knows? Maybe it's related with the Protheans. Because like I said, I mean, the Protheans did learn how to make mass relays, even if it was just a little scale size. They did learn how to make them because they did the, the, re, the relay monument and the relay on Ilos. So uh, it could be the Protheans as well. We're either looking at weapons that are going to be used against the Reapers or by the Reapers. Um, and these weapons are most likely going to be the mass relays uh, or maybe even Haystrom's son. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. This is just a bunch of information thrown at you guys. Uh, and right now, all we could do is just come up with theories. Again, please, please make the comments spoiler free. No spoilers. I know there are spoilers out there. And unfortunately, it's already been ruined for me a long time ago. Um, not ruined, but it was more of a, a long time ago, I was questioning this this whole issue. I was always like, well, maybe, maybe, uh, we don't know, maybe. Uh, but it's now, it's now for sure. There's a spoiler out there. Um, so please don't mention, I'm pretty sure you guys know what spoiler I'm talking about. Don't mention it if you know what I'm talking about. Don't mention it. If I'm not mentioning it, I'm not mentioning it for a reason. Don't mention it in the comments, because if you do, I'm going to delete it like that. So it's pointless to even do it. So don't waste your words, because I'm going to delete it. So yeah, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. If you guys have questions, just let me know in the comments. If you want to send me a message, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. But yeah, let, let's, you know, tell me what you guys think. If you guys come up with any theories, let me know because this whole topic really could uh, spark a lot of theories, a lot of interesting theories for Mass Effect 3 um, and our fight against the Reapers. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I can't believe it's what, like a month? Only a month away? Oh wow. February is going to be really hard for us to get through just because it's like oh my god the countdowns everywhere so thank you for watching and i'll talk to you guys later